Hi guys, welcome to this video about some interesting facts about glycerin. I have already been showing you on this channel how you can produce or how you can lubricate um, some pump soap dispensers or how you can produce your own soap, uh, liquid soap. Um, yeah, that's a really interesting thing and I have been thinking, yeah, maybe it's worth to dig a little bit deeper into that. So one of my first questions were, what's the raw material for glycerin? And glycerin is actually a sugar alcohol derived from animal products, plants or petroleum. So uh, yeah, I'm covering mostly the uh, product which is derived from plants, that's a vegetable glycerin. And the interesting thing is that you can use it for so many things, you can even uh, eat or drink, I mean in very low quantities of course, you cannot eat, uh, you cannot drink a quart of that without having heavy side effects of course, but in general you can, uh, you can use that, you can, it's, it's, uh, I mean you, if you buy it you have to make sure that it is food grade, that's really important when you buy it on Amazon, I will put down the link to my favorite product it is not very expensive and it is food grade it's a bottle it costs about five dollar so you can try it out and see what you can do with that there are so many uses uh, from that it's really impressing uh, impressive as you will see so uh, there's also a topic glycerin versus glycerol and I as far as I know glycerol is the uh, main main ingredient glycerin is more the commercial brand so there's actually no difference if you find it so the, one of the questions may might be uh, is it explosive maybe you have heard about the nitroglycerin which you can use as some kind of explosive and is it really, I mean, is this thing ex um, yeah, explosive or really dangerous? Um, yeah, it is a component of the nitroglycerin, but you have to add other things to make it, to turn it into nitrogl nitroglycerin. And so the uh, normal glycerin is not dangerous at all, even when it can have some side effects of course some people are sensitive to glycerin it can happen i mean in general it's considered to be very safe but there are always people who are sensitive to almost anything so it can happen also with glycerin so what can it be used for The vegetable glycerin, which I uh, recommend to buy, which uh, the link is about in the description, is widely used for food, cosmetics and pharmaceutical industries. Um, yeah, I mean food, um, you can add this to baking goods or other things to keep things moist and this is also the case in the cosmetics industries uh, it is uh, very widespread use to moisten your skin you can really apply this to your skin and it's one of the best moisturizers which can which you find uh, anywhere and it's not even expensive some people just mix if you have a lotion or something like that and you want to make it a little bit more uh, moisturizing to your skin just add a little bit of the glycerin and you will have a really good effect that's uh, good and it has some effect also it's used in the pharmaceutical industries like for medication uh, if you have if you suffer from constipation there's a pill and it can be inserted not oral but in yeah uh, rectal 
and it will work pretty fast so the thing is actually glycerin is attract a lot of moisture I mean water and the thing is it will when it inserted rectal and then it will attract a lot of water in the into the bowel and uh, makes it moving so uh, but it not it does not only work rectal it also works works oral I mean when you have it when you use it in your food and drinks and wherever uh, it will have or it can at least have same uh, laxative effect so you have to be careful not to eat or drink too much some people are really sensitive to the thing and yeah it can have a really uh, laxative effect you have to be uh, really careful I mean uh, in the food industry it's also used um, yeah uh, to to sweeten things that's a really interesting thing if you I mean if, if you buy it to use it to make liquid soap you wouldn't think that you can add this to food or uh, to use it as a sweetener but you can really add this instead of sugar to some food or you uh, there are some people they use it in their coffee or other drinks instead of sugar the thing is it is a little bit less sweet than normal sugar but it has a really good effect it doesn't increase the blood sugar level uh, and that's really good and a lot of people uh, especially diabetics or people who are doing low carb diets uh, some of them prefer to use glycerin as a sweetener and but it it is a little bit less sweet than normal table sugar so it needs a little bit more and even the same amount has more calories than normal sugar so if you just want to save calories that's not uh, yeah it's it, it's not really helpful and of course it's more expensive than normal table sugar so at the end I um, mean yeah <laughs> it has more calories it costs more but it has a positive impact on the blood sugar levels and if you want to prevent diabetes or you have already and you want to find I want to, uh, to use a product which is helpful so that can be a really good thing so uh, I highly recommend when you when you buy such a bottle just put a few drops on a finger and then lick it up and try how it is I have already done this it was a little bit strange I didn't expect it to be sweet and it was really super sweet uh, it, it, it's really interesting I mean if you have something which is so sweet on your finger so usually it's a, like sugar water then it's really sticky uh, but this thing is not sticky it's just moisturizing your skin it's 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 super interesting so <laughs> I ha can highly recommend to to try this and uh, yeah you can use this to to mix some different components in the food industry it has a really good effect on a lot of ingredients uh, to make them interact uh, really good or in a very positive way and especially it keeps food moist and uh, the, uh, helps to prevent from drying out that's really important so it can also be used to prevent ice crystals from forming frozen food as low fat frozen yogurt ice cream and other desserts so if you're making your own frozen yogurt or ice cream that's maybe an option for you and uh, yeah and as i already said it is used in pharmaceutical drugs 
and even yeah in heart medication and in cough remedies and and anesthetics and you can even use it on your skin i mean it does not have only an moisturizing effect and really uh, heavy and strong moisturizing effect it has also a healing uh, effect on your skin so if you have uh, any sk skin damage uh, then you can use it to uh, speed up healing that's really really interesting and additionally you can find vegetable glycerin toothpaste as it helps to prevent toothpaste from drying out and hardening in the tube and it is absolutely amazing to see uh, where it is used and it is crazy probably there are not many uh, processed foods which doesn't do not have these uh, glycerin as ingredient so if you are looking for that in some food products you can search or look for the ingredients with the number E422 usually it's there as E422 and you, you know it is glycerin and glycerin yeah I mean it is when you buy uh, vegetable glycerin it's made from um, the vegetable oil and usually it's either from soybeans or coconut or palm oil something like that and yeah as I already said it should be quite um, good to take i mean there's not uh, really it doesn't look like really harmful as long as you use uh, non-gmo and from good sources and high quality good refined and those things so i mean it has been used for a long long time it's nothing new it's uh, something well known and uh, I think you don't have to be scared but uh, yeah uh, I mean if you're using too much it can definitely produce uh, diarrhea uh, so be careful about that uh, when you put uh, when you try to replace sugar uh, with glycerin or yeah using it too much in baking goods and those things but uh, apart from that i really think it's a really interesting product it's something which you really need in your household uh, to make soap and for your skin healing and maybe sugar replacement and uh, it's definitely worth to try it out it's about five or six dollars something like that and yeah i'll put down the link into the descriptions you can order it right from there on Amazon and try it out you will see it will be I'm pretty sure you will be really really surprised uh, about this thing I mean uh, I knew the no uh, the name of that but I have n never seen this in nature concentrated and I was super surprised and I will definitely keep it uh, permanently in my household as a thing for uh, which I use for for many things so um, yeah that's it for now I hope I was able to help you a little bit with that if you have any questions or comments then just uh, write to the feedback area I'm always happy to talk about these things and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching and see you next time